I think a lot of people don't realize how green Sentosa is mm -hmm. on the back end. Basically, this other food is uh, from the events. We did about 28,500 kg. 18,000 RT, 50,000 kilowatt hour per month. More than 60% of the seafood is responsibly and sustainably sourced. When you collect seashells, it means that you are taking homes away from permit crabs. We have to accumulate as little waste as possible over the next three days. We're gonna eat. How awesome is that? Hi, Vic. Hello. <laughs> I'm glad you picked the aquarium today because marine sustainability, you know, it's like super important to me. So I knew that coming into today to take you on exploring. Yeah. But I have to introduce then one challenge we have to do. Mm -hmm. It's the mason jar challenge. Okay. This is the waste we generated between the two of us yesterday. If we manage to not fill the jar completely over the three days between myself, Muna, you and Erica, we get a grand prize. Do you have any Anything from your sustainability side of your reusables? I always use a tote and it's made of recycled material. Love it. I recycle, but then I'm like a tissue person. I use this after workouts, <laughs> I use this for hygiene. It's not wrong, yeah. you know, it's not wrong. People mustn't feel guilty about it, but I guess it's all about balance. Yeah. And I think the interesting challenge for me and you now is to see how much waste we do end up adding to the mason jar. There's a challenge. Again, you were the perfect guest to invite. Because Cause we're gonna eat. Yeah, we're, we're gonna eat. You ready to dive in? Yeah. <laughs> wow, I love this place. Oh, yeah, Manta. Manta. Just... Manta. Yeah, no, but it's so beautiful, huh? Can't I never get tired of that. Nah, never will. Mmm. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay. We've got the abalone sumai, the lobster kueh pai tea, the hamachi golden cup, the scallop. Obviously, some other. Little pastries. pastries for the high tea. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like substantial. Mm -hmm. Probably. Pop them both in. Mm. That was nice. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'll see you in a jiff. Okay. Victoria's actually in the tank. How awesome is that? RWS cares for 51 threatened marine species. It's not just about having the fish here for us to see. They do a lot of conservation. They do breeding. More than 60% of the seafood here at RWS is responsibly and sustainably sourced. Oh, I love this. No shark's fin. I think that's fantastic. I think every restaurant should do that. Oh, Vic, that was awesome. Ah, that was so cool. <laughs> Were you surprised? Yeah, I was like, what are what you doing? Like, I have to travel really far and really remotely mm. to just see most of these things. And to see it in one place is incredible. This is fantastic. I think people need to realize that even though this is wildlife, they are safe here, they are mm -hmm. healthy here, and the whole program here is for conservation mm -hmm. and breeding as yes. well. And that's what we're gonna go check out next. Okay, so what you're seeing here is two of our species that a jellies team actually are breeding successfully. So we have the fried egg jellies, <laughs> looks like wow. fried egg. <laughs> yeah, sunny then sunny. we have our uh, nettle, the sea nettles. So how does this contribute to sustainability? Because we are able to breed our own sea jellies, mm -hmm. we don't really have to get from vendors. So it helps the team to also learn about their life cycle mm -hmm. from the polyp, from where they're breeding, all the way to the adult. What you are seeing here is one of our programs where we propagate corals for the exhibits that you see in the sea aquarium. Yeah. Just breaking a part of it, so the genes is actually the same as the mother colony. Uh -huh. So this way, our corals grow faster, grow better in a bigger colony. Good but to grow like almost like 5 cm or 10 cm, it takes at least six months. Hi. Hi. Nice Glad to, to meet you. you. Glad yes. to meet you. These we bake freshly in the morning. So after buffet finish, these are the pastries we. Take arrange in the plates and then we are ready to pack for the deliver to food bank. 
after food waste you need to produce again that mm-hmm. means you need to get the ingredients you need a transportation mm-hmm. then that's also the energy you need a manpower then you need a ovens to cook yeah. so that's the electricity yeah. so these all things are sustainability exactly all right i'm going to leave you guys to work i'm going to go check out the room so <laughs> all right that's the case and i'm going to give oh, you uh, i'm going to give you the reusable backpack and then okay. a mason jar okay. and i'll do the work like here then gloves. I am here, don't worry. I will not I will not leave you alone. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. I should have used a towel. Ooh, slippers. Haha. This is how you do staycation. Oh. Sorry, Erica. That filled up pretty quick. I'm doing a really terrible job right now, so I'm gonna carry this as a reminder and make myself coffee. Here we go. Got Nespresso capsules here. You might think that this is gonna have to go in the mason jar, but it doesn't because these capsules are 100% recyclable. Hi. Hey, hi. Hi. Hi, hi. I didn't realize linen could actually be uh, donated back to the food bank. It makes sense though, right? Yeah. You can, you can see that they're still really good. We have about 370 beneficiaries uh, working with us mm-hmm. uh, throughout the entire of Singapore. Yeah. Right, so this range from all your family centers, right? Mm-hmm. Elderly care centers, mm-hmm. even your homes, and even VWOs, for example, like the Red Cross and Salvation mm-hmm. Army. I kind of like that me and yeah. Victoria have helped a little bit today as well. I think now we have to do our job and also not waste any food. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so about wastage, um, I have some bad news about the mason jar. I've exponentially added to it and... Um... <laughs> I've, got, I've got stuff to add to it too. It's kind of remarkable though when you physically collect and see what you've been using and how easily it adds up. And this is while being really like conscientious. conscientious yeah. What I've learned here today, you know, at Subhotel, the aquarium, mm. everything that they do, they find a way to make it sustainable. Yes. And I think that's the right approach. Yeah. Whatever your output is, yeah. you should have the equivalent input. Mm-hmm. And that's what sustainability is all about. Yeah. It's about keeping everything in balance. Yes. I would say today was really well balanced. Yes. A good amount of everything. Think, yeah. Maybe a bit more food than I would have thought, but yeah. I'm always happy to eat. That's balanced <laughs> yeah. to me. I feel like we worked it off. Yeah. It's fine. All right. <laughs>